already off key. <laughs> and hello, folks. And well, <laughs> happy holidays to all of you out there, whether you're, you celebrate these holidays or not. Here in the Fox Marine household, that's basically, yeah, we celebrate the holidays and. I'd like to extend this warm greeting to all of you out there. At least we have something, <laughs> we have something to uh, to stare at, to look at, to fumble my way through, or in this case, to fly by. And really, there's not a lot of uh, Christmas games out there, except for this one. One of the very few games here uh, that they've released. This is Merry Gear Salt 2 Ghost Christmas Past. All right, and this is on PC. So let's check this out, and obviously there is a... Okay, I just found this out right now. This game has no controller support. So we're kind of stuck here. We're gonna step away from my controller, Mr. Clackety Clack. <laughs> and... Yeah, we're gonna go for mouse and keyboard. Well, mostly key just keyboard and keyboard, I guess. So let's do this. Let's do it. Push control. So yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go here with our... Uh, Mouse and keyboard, which I've never done in this channel. Oh goodness, so I'm gonna lean up here, right up to my screen, where my uh, keyboard is. Let's go. Alright, so, yeah, let's go. There's a previous ops here, so this is two. There's also a one. Um, from what I've seen, two looks a bit more polished than one, so that's why we're gonna celebrate all of these here with a new game. Now, let's go. At least. Out of saving. Bottom. Three years after the Secret Santa incident, okay. we had classified information that a new Santa had taken power. At least, it the shows whole thing the was naughty, at the bottom. but our noses had been on the call too long. My bad. You know, it's just like me and like a million David Hater impersonators. That we're all do we're, we're all doing a pre pretty shitty job here. I'm guessing like the guy who's doing the voice for uh, for S Santa Snake in, in this game, uh, doing a better better job than me. Sounds better. Me with my tiny baby voice. Who's that noise? Oh boy. Really? This is like the the millionth, the nth pixel game that we have in this channel. Again. This is all not by design. That's Snake here with our Halo drop. This is Snake. Do you read me, Otacon? Loud and clear, Snake. Looks like the stocking stocking is busted. Ah, uh, what stocking stocking? The stocking you had me wear. You said it was made with synthetic octopus fibers that would make me nearly invisible to the human eye. You didn't really. <laughs> Snake, that was just an ordinary... Right. I didn't plan on relying on this gadget anyway. Well, I'm just happy you managed to get to the sneak point without getting yourself hurt. I'm happy as long as no one gives me any more unwanted gifts. Oh, you mean that thing with Naomi? No, I'm talking about Cole. How am I supposed to have a Merry Christmas if that's all I get these days? Well, Snake, it's been a while since anyone's had a truly Merry Christmas. It's what with the sudden surge of PNCs popping up around the world. PNCs? Pretty naughty children. Naughty doesn't even begin to describe them. They're more like hired mercenaries selling their services to the highest bidder. It used to be just a few rogue groups, but now it's become a global phenomenon. In fact, the world's seen the creation of at least a dozen PNCs in the past three years alone. So it all started three years ago. That's about the time I assassinated Big B... Uh, Saint Nick. That's right. It's likely that Saint Nick's death lies at the root of all of these problems. After all, he did play an important role in the SOC system. SOC system? The Spirit of Christmas system. A series of checks and balances created by the three wise men in order to maintain an equal balance of naughty and nice. And without a Saint Nick to keep the SOC system in check, there hasn't been an incentive to be nice. That's right, Snake. We've dropped you off at Outer Savin Mall. Outer Savin? Yeah, you know, the one mall in which shoppers will always have a place. Let me guess. 
I'm not just here to do some last minute Christmas shopping. Afraid not, Snake. I recently dug up some information on the US government's encrypted security channel about an extremist group that calls themselves the Ghosts of Christmas Past. The information I've uncovered shows that they've got their hands on Santa's hat. What's so dangerous about a hat? It's not so much the hat itself as it is the beliefs behind it. Whoever controls Santa's hat has full control over the SOC system. And whoever controls the SOC system has full control over the entire child population of the world. So what? The ghosts have threatened to use the hat to create a world of PNCs. A world of perpetual naughtiness! That's right. The ghosts are demanding the brain of Saint Nick. But it's anyone's guess as to what they're gonna do with it. That's gotta be something big. Something worth using the entire world's child population as a bargaining chip for. Something like... Metal Gear. No, Snake. There's absolutely no reason to jump to conclusions. All we know is that the ghosts have arranged a meeting with the US president somewhere in that mall. Your mission is to find out what's going on, and to put a stop to the ghost's plan before the meeting takes place. Gotcha. For the duration okay. of this mission, we'll be referring to each other by code names. What's wrong with my old code name? What? Old Snake? No. Solid Snake. No one's called you that in years. Yeah, but... Look, I'll let you decide for yourself. Would you rather be called Old Snake or Cold Snake? Uh, cold Snake, I guess. Good. Remember, Snake, the ghosts have Santa's hat, which means that any children you run into during the mission are under their control. Do whatever it takes to stay out of the enemy's field of vision. Got it. Head to the elevator. I'll be giving you advice and instructions via codec. My frequency is 012.25. Good luck. Okay, that one, that's amazing. The whole tone, this game has done an excellent job of just setting the tone and giving that spirit of Metal Gear in there. That's amazing, thank you. Oh wow, alright. <laughs> oh, more, more Hold it, Snake. It's foolish to run headfirst into every situation. By holding the shift key near a wall, you can hug up against it. Doing so will allow you to get a better view of what's up ahead. Can I hold the shift key near a kid? No, Snake. No, no. Stranger S danger. Dang it, Snake. <laughs> all right. That's good. All right, this is this is a kid. Uh, all right. So yeah, again, awesome job by the developer of this game. I'll link it below in the description. That's amazing. Good job, developer person. You. I will. Oh man. I, and this is not a new game by, by any means. So. Uh, wait. No. They're sneaking up behind these kids. Alright. Ooh, kid fell asleep. Alright, so yeah, the tone of like Metal Gear is just excellent, well done, amazing, kudos. There, so what we have here, so as I was saying a while ago before uh, the cutscene, so at least it tells us what the um, controls are. So inventory, nothing here. Codex C controls action, so we can walk. Can I? Snick, sneak, sneak, sneak past him. Yes, we can. All right. You can always access me via codec by pressing the C button. If you find yourself in a difficult situation, just give me a call. Okay, so also, this game also emulated just how long and winded codec calls are. So, uh, if you're not a fan of that, I'm sorry. <laughs> but again, it's it's that commitment. Oh boy. Oh, so this is ice. We can't stop. At least this gives us a bit of a tutorial about these sort of areas. So, alright, that's good. That's good to know. Shows us at least what, that um, we're not in any particular danger. What's up? That kid ahead is guarding that landing pad pretty carefully. You should try distracting him by knocking on a nearby wall. To do that, hug a wall with the shift key, and then press the control key to make a noise. Any nearby guards will come investigate the source of the noise. You can use this to open up a sneaking path. So I press control while hugging a wall to knock on it. Got, Got it. it. Say, Otacon. Yeah? Knock knock. Oh, what was that noise? Er, uh, you're supposed to say who's there. It's just my imagination. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> All right, thank you, Otacon. All right, so uh, let's check out here. There's nothing here, so... Um... Okay, I gotta run. Over here! Damn it! All right. Uh, okay. Wait. Let's, let's try that again. 
honestly. Alright, so I have to distract him while he's looking this way. So at the very least, he's facing north. So I can sneak past him. What was that noise? Huh? Alright, we're gonna just have so many references here. See me. Alright, uh, can I climb down? How can I climb down? Uh, two inventory action, right? Oh, wait. Um. Wait, so where do I head to? Oh! Okay, so that was a little specific pixel that I had to uh, go in through there. All right, or at least at least we're in. It's fine. Right, we're in. Oh, oh, oh. Nope. 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 All right. So at least like this hasn't adopted the. Uh... Okay, here we go. I forgot Another to tell down. you about the Jolaton radar. The Jolaton radar is the thing Damn in the it. upper right-hand corner of your screen. It's based on the same Jolly Ton technology that allows shoppers to easily find the exact locations of the presents they're looking for. But don't be fooled. There's a big difference between the existing Jolly Ton technology and the special Jolly Ton radar you're equipped with. What's the difference? Well, the subtle swapping of the Y in Jolly Ton to an I in your Jolly Ton radar trickles down to its functionality. Whereas the Jollyton radar could only detect Christmas presents, the Jollyton radar is capable of detecting presents of any kind. Including human presents. Bingo. I'm guessing that white dot is made. That's, that's right. What about the red ones? Those dots represent an enemy's presence. Watch out and stay outside of that enemy's field of vision. That's the blue cone, right? Yep. Also, you might have noticed the radar was unusable on the rooftop. Sometimes there's too much interference. In those cases, the Jolaton radar will be jammed. Anything I can do about that? Uh, afraid not. Hmm. So you're saying this is a Jolaton radar that you made modifications to? Yep, a specially modified Jolaton radar. <laughs> I would have called it the Autoton radar, but you sure this isn't just my old Soliton radar? There you because go. Because mailing made no, that. no, not at all. But uh, look, Snake. We don't have time for idle chit chat. <laughs> okay, all right. Oh man, uh, this is strong. This is this is a, this game is a bit coming on strong. All right. I'm glad. I'm got. I'm glad we got to play this on uh, on on a uh, Christmas. Well, from here where Fox Marine is, we're, it's Christmas Eve here. Or well, this is this video will be released uh, Christmas Eve. So hopefully, folks are there, you know, destroying yourself with your family. So, so, so good. Alright, let's, uh, let's see. So, he's staring through the wall. Alright, let's just observe. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay, so, there's a A surveillance camera? It's a mall, Snake. Oh, right. Remember, these security cameras have a blind spot, so you can sneak beneath them without being seen. Sorry if you folks heard that. Uh, gotcha. <laughs> that was uh, some family members outside. If you caught that, if not, then please ignore. Please ignore. Gotcha. Again, I guess the spirit of the holidays I mean, just can't be avoided that you know, spend time with family. Hold up, games. Snakes! Someone's conversation is being carried through the ventilation shafts. Have all the preparations been made? Yes, and the tadpoles have set up an ambush on the first floor, in case the meeting with the president goes sour. First floor? And where is he? He? Our third? What? Are you afraid he'll flake? I don't really trust him, but I've got no choice but to believe him. For now. Without belief, you'd never be able to inherit the title of Father Christmas. I suppose you're right. I'll be heading up to the 20th floor. I just need a little time to cool off. You stay here and wait for the president to arrive. You hear that, Snake? The ghosts are meeting with the president on the first floor of the mall. You'll have to get down there to make sure things don't get hairy. Expecting 
subordinate, but it looks like he's leading this, and I guess the other one is a uh, liquid snake. Or I could be mistaken, I... These are just guesses. <laughs> Alright, so there's something there. So we're stuck here. He's asleep. Is there a way for me to sneak past? Looks like the elevator's down. You'll have to get around the mall by foot. Ah, oh, damn it! All right. All right, there you go. A little pixel. I think like one pixel over, I'd be hitting it. So, all right, so we're here in the next area. All right. What do you want? It looks like you're in some kind of Halloween costume store. Maybe you can find something useful in that store's storage room. That's located in the northeast corner of the store. Alright, fine. Can, can we crawl? Can we crawl? No, we can't. Okay. Okay. Just gotta make sure. Oh boy. Run, 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 run! <laughs> Alright, that was, that, was that was just lucky. This game could get a little finicky. Can I crawl? Lucky for you that guard's asleep. Otherwise, he'd definitely come investigate the commotion. You can get past metal floors without making much noise if you slide along the walls beside them. Okay. Okay, at the very least, we have a way. There's no way for us to... Right? Okay. Just slide in through. Alright, so... The first... My first experience was actually Metal Gear Solid. The first one, in the PS1. Okay, what do you want? Otacon, I found a reindeer mask. Ah, uh, Snake, is there something you have uh, to, to, to tell me? Aren't you usually the one to tell me how new items work? Well, it's just... Uh... I want you to know that Furdom has been around for a long time. We're going off tangent Furdom. here, Otacon. Yeah, you know, furries. It's a, um, it's a fandom that revolves around anthropomorphic animals. Anime. It's always anime with you, isn't it, Otacon? Oh, he, he I'm a mercenary. Furry, I don't have time for any nerd hobbies. Now tell me how I can use this thing. Well, for a start, it's frighteningly realistic. Has it got a red light-up nose? Nope. Darn. So it's no good as a flashlight either. Let me put this thing on. Maybe it'll give me some ideas. Sure thing, Snake. Snake? Snake? Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Well, I could have sworn you were a mounted deer head. Huh. A mounted deer head, huh? You'll be able to avoid being seen as long as you're hugging a wall with that thing on. Just make sure not to move, or you'll give yourself away. Also, if you bump into anyone, the jig is up. So stay out of the enemy's path. Huh? That? that sleeping guard must have woken up. Snake, you're surrounded. Use the deer head to sneak your way out of there. Okay, this is a... Alright, that's... This is interesting. Is he, way... is he gonna sneak his way past here? That's what I want to know. So, yeah. Um... Wait, can he... Can he see me from all the way there? Is that... I'm out of his vision cone. Oh boy. No, 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 no. Over here. Damn it. All right. Oh, hold on. I know what we can do. What we can do is, uh... Can knock there. Have him investigate. So yeah, and I had a whole weekend to myself, and basically, I, uh... Is he gonna... I want him to run all the way to the right, so I had the whole weekend to myself, and from 6pm, I started 
playing. Right around 2 a.m. I finished the game, basically. Uh, there's no way, there's just no way he's gonna... Oh, hell yeah, all right, all right, good, we're good. So, 2 a.m., I finished it, and I'm like, whoa. There has to be more, right? Because I was wondering why was there a, slave, a safe spot? And I got, I got the stealth camo, then eventually I got the, uh, the infinite bandana, and then I got the, uh, the Spider-Man costume. Was it the spider No, I had the tuxedo. I had the tuxedo costume for Snake. And by the time I finished all of that, it was already six. Uh, it was six a.m. the next morning. So like, I didn't spend that much time overall with uh, Metal Gear. First one, the first Metal Gear Solid game. Yeah, there's one. Uh, but I just like it's the first time where I just marathon the entire thing, and that's like my biggest memory of you know games like these. So even until this day, I just like I get so addicted with with uh, stealth games. Like I love to do trial and error and just go at it, keep at it. Be diligent, really, and that's what these games force you to be. It's uh, to be uh, you know, to be a little bit more careful, careful with uh, you know, where you go, what steps you take, and they heard me, but that's fine. I all right, so they are all these three are asleep. Is there anything else? There's something down there. What if I uh, can I wake them up? No, there's I have no choice. So, yeah, that's kind of what like these games force you to be is like you have to be mindful of what is this don't take another step that place is filled with gas also the floor's electrified or is you? just a voice in your head but you can call me Cindy Lou Who or Who for short Cindy a girl do I sound like a girl to you? It's hard to trust a voice over Kodak. I've already been fooled once by my twin brother. You'll need to find a way to disable the high voltage switch. You're using burst transmission. Are you nearby? As for the gas, <laughs> you don't want to be breathing any of that stuff. It'll knock you out cold. Wait, why is there a room filled with gas and electrical flooring inside a mall? To keep out intruders like you and I. That makes sense. Hmm. Who are you anyway? An old friend. Otacon. Good job on keeping that, on that the trope from my last first game. Conversation. The first what coded conversation? That's right. He was using burst transmission. Burst transmission? Oh, there's no way to find the codec frequency of a conversation like that. Except... Except what? Well... Have you tried looking on the back of the Blu-ray case? I know, I know, it's a pain. But you need to find the Blu-ray case for Mary Gear Solid 2. <laughs> you see the Blu-ray case labeled Mary Gear Solid 2? Who no. uses Blu-ray? Huh? Oh, wait. We're on the PC. And the game is downloaded onto your hard drive. There is no Blu-ray Mary Gear Solid 2 case. Otacon, get a grip. What an age we live in, huh, Snake? Digital distribution. Wonder what they'll think of next. So, no. No what? Can't run a trace on my last codec conversation. Afraid not. <sighs> okay, so is there a way for me to? <laughs> oh, hold on. All right. Yeah. So this is nothing. So we should go back. All right. So they're awake. Okay. So that cone isn't exactly accurate. Alright, so, uh, oh boy. Alright. Snake, that present looks pretty well guarded. Maybe you should come back for it later. No, I can... I can get it, right? Seriously? All right. Fuck. Yeah, it, it's yeah. I 
need... I'll need something to get that. I was just talking about diligence, and here I am, literally fumbling my way through. Alright. Do these two alternate? Yeah, they do. They, they, they alternate paths. So we're gonna... That's no ordinary candy cane. Read the wrapper. Novocaine? That's right. That's a Nova brand candy cane. It's made with an especially strong child quieting corn syrup. Damn it. Or CQC. CQC? CQC is an anesthetic capable of putting a child to sleep. Ever notice how doctors will give a kid a lollipop after a shot? Sure. Those lollipops are laced with a small dose of CQC. They're used to numb the pain. And to keep the kids quiet. The dosage of CQC in that Novocaine is much, much higher. So you're telling me I could put a kid to sleep with this thing? That's right. Sneak up right behind an enemy and press the control key to knock him out. The anesthetic will wear off after a couple of seconds, so be sure to be out of the area before the kid wakes up. Got it. One last thing. What is it? Candy canes go... in the mouth, not through the windpipe. You got that? Under the impression that this would this goes through the windpipe. Oh, I found him. Okay. Ah. All right. Let's go. Right, I, I, that was careless again. Preaching. Diligence. Wait. So I already have the no queen, but I want. To... Let's see. There's no need. Like I already got what I needed, right? So. Oh, that's where it's over. 
Oh, oh damn it. All right, awesome. All right, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Oh wait, I don't. Uh, let's go with the deer mask first. What do I want? Ah, damn it. Try that again. We're gonna try that again. Oh no. Okay, first. I'm not over here and let's just wait patiently. I don't think I'll need the the deer. Uh, we won't need the deer. Have him investigate. Ah, damn it. Should not be able to see me, right? Nice, okay, so now. Checking if that's blood. White blood. The last time I saw that was. Yep. Police not. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you know what? Otacon's not wrong. That was also in police not. Investigate the source of the blood. Phrase. I wasn't talking about the weather, old man. Who are you? As spring gives way to winter, so too shall the past give way to the present. It is a present filled with ice, for revenge is a glass best served. Cold.
cold. Milk? That's right, Snake. I am the ghost of Christmas present. And delivering milk is my fortified forte. Ah, such cold taste. Such smooth texture. These are the short-lived features of milk of the freshest quality. Milk bar! <laughs> Yet so short-lived was my delivery. The temporary joy my milk provided could never compare to the permanence, the everlasting cheer of a Christmas gift well received. My gifts could only be appreciated in the present. Milk would have to be consumed by its best buy date. My gift was a ticking time bomb, innocuous at one moment, yet devastating the next. For many years, I faced intolerance, but I've got no time to dwell in the past. Snake, today is your best buy date, and let me make it milky clear that you shall be bested by this battle's end. How about you? So when in doubt, in a Metal Gear game or it, or it's uh or it's uh phones or games that draw inspiration from always go that call. Otacon, he's wearing a funk stunt suit. Hmm, you're right. And it looks like it's been specially modified to keep his body cool. I wonder why that is. Well, that's not helpful, let's do it again. Otacon, the enemy. His blood is white. The last time I've seen that was... That's not white blood, Snake. That's milk. Milk? You'd better be careful, Snake. An enemy that bleeds out milk is sure to have extremely strong bones. Your weapons will be ineffective here. Uh, okay. Third... Snake, think! The ghost is made of milk. Milk's gotta have a weakness. Lactose intolerance. No, Snake. Try to think... Uh, lactose intolerance in reverse. Hmm. Snare lost the switch belt. How did you? What? Look, Snake, we've got to hurry before the situation gets real sour. I've got it! I know how to defeat him! But are you sure you want me to, uh, <laughs> spoil it? Try setting the clock on your computer ahead a week or two. No! That's not safe! Hold on! Wait, that's not safe. Wait, that's not safe. That's not safe for my computer. Hold on, that'll, that'll do a whole bunch of stuff for my... Wait. Wait, hold on. Can I pause? I cannot pause. Looks like we don't have much of a choice, right? I'll be right back. Gah! Now that's what I call Pretty blood curdling screams. Fucking screen. stupid, but you know, I'll, I'll, I'll accept it. kept the milk in your veins fresh for that long. I see your mental skills haven't thought a bit, Snake. Just like cold tides. Do I know you, Snake? We're not snow different, you and I. The children of a cold generation. What do you mean? Who are you? My father. My father was one of the three wise men who created the SOC system. 
he was well on his way to inherit the title of Father Christmas. When in a freak accident at San Geronimo, his body literally burned itself up. That special blue fox sneaking suit. You must be Python's kid. Please, Snake. Father had a name. Python was just a code name given to him by Fox. Those who truly loved him knew him by his birth name. Frosty Frost. Frosty the Snowman. And that would make you... Jack Frost. His son. This suit, it was the only thing they could recover off of my father's melted remains. A cooling suit filled with liquid nitrogen. That explains the sub-zero temperatures of your milk bombs. It was my father's legacy. And that which allowed me to become the world's greatest milkman. Delivering the coldest, freshest milk in even the hottest of temperatures. However, not even the liquid nitrogen from my suit could have saved my milk from the blistering stupidity of human ignorance. Human ignorance? Leave it by the door, they'd say. As if such a thing were even conceivable! My milk! That which I have literally poured my life into. To sit out in the sun, beads of sweat forming on its glassy container, curdling ever closer to its date of expiration. My gift to the world was a gift of the present, a transient gift that could neither be enjoyed in the past nor the future. I longed to find a way to do it faster, to deliver it fresher. I needed a way to deliver my milk directly into any house from anywhere in the world. I needed Mary Gear. Mary Gear? Yes, Mary Gear. A bipedal sleigh with the ability to launch gifts from any location. It was the three wise men's failsafe. A means to keep Christmas alive should all three of the wise men pass on. But it could only be activated with the entry of three secret passcodes. One from each of the three wise men. You see, the members of the Three Wise Men were part of an agreement, a pact that bound each of them to enter their secret passcodes on their deathbeds. It was a way of ensuring Christmas would go on, a pact that would ensure the activation of the Merry Gear at the right time. My father, Frosty, upheld his part of the agreement and entrusted his passcode to me. Between the three ghosts of Christmas past, we had two passwords. We needed just one more. So that's why the ghosts are demanding Nick's brain. Yes, your unexpected assassination of Saint Nick in the secret Santa incident prevented Santa from entering the third and final passcode. We had planned to obtain Saint Nick's brain and extract the final passcode, giving us access to the merry gear. But how would this help you deliver your milk? Snake, you aren't thinking outside of the box. Or rather, perhaps that is exactly what you are doing. What do you mean? Think, Snake. If the Merry Gear is only capable of launching gift boxes... Put the milk in a gift box? Yes! The greatest gift of all! <coughs> Snake, it was only my dream. 
to make the world a happier place through milk. It seems that your dreams have expired. And I, along with them. But don't cry. I'll be back again someday. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, that's good. That's I guess there's no use crying over spilled milk. Damn it, Snake ruined that one, but made it better in a way. Damn it, these puns and these references. Ah, uh, alright. <laughs> Well, folks, that was Mary Gear Solid 2. Um, again, this is just a flyby. I'll put a link below at the description. Um, so if you folks who haven't tried it, this game isn't new by any, uh, any stretch of the imagination. So this game has been around. But for those who haven't seen this, um, want to give this a try, it'll be below at the description. Again, this is Fox Marine, your internet super loser. Wishing you all well for the holidays. Hey you, you made it to the end of the video. Good job. Well, a better job than what I've been doing. If you'd like more disappointment, check out these links. This is a warning, not a guarantee.